Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost over 200 pounds without bariatric surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know you are anxiously awaiting my surgery videos. They are on their way, I promise. But in this video, I just wanted to show you all of the foods that I chose to eat the week leading up to and the day before my surgery date so that you could kind of see what I did to prepare for my loose skin surgery. So that's what you're gonna find in this video. I hope that you'll find it helpful. This shouldn't be a super long video and I promise the surgery videos are coming very soon. I am on day 12 of recovery recording this for you so I know I'm behind, I'm working on it and I hope you have patience with me but let's get to the food. Morning guys, it is Monday, July 5th and I am starting my surgery prep diet, I guess. I decided I wanted to try and do high calorie keto, so basically high fat keto with higher protein still um, leading up to my surgery, which is 10 days away. Tomorrow's my pre-op. This may change based on what the doctor says tomorrow, but as of today, it's my plan. Problem is, I don't have any high fat stuff in my house, as you well know. So. Today's food's probably gonna be a little eclectic, lots of treaty type things because it's pretty much all I've got that I indulge in with high fat. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I'm having for my first meal of the day. This is good for me. <laughs> this is not a keto snack. This is a health coach shake. I'm probably gonna be drinking this particular brand for my recovery quite a bit because it is very high in calories and has everything that you need to have a meal replacement. So this is a half of a health code shake. It's 200 calories just for half. So it's 400 for a full shake, which will be great after I have my surgery. Um, then I am having one of these little um, upside down bakery brownies. And just so you guys know, I have links in the about section for most of this stuff. I am a supporter of all of these companies and I really love these mug cakes. I don't eat them a lot because they are higher in fat and calories at least than what I usually do. But you can see three grams net carbs, 11 grams of protein. I'm having the double fudge today and then I put 24 grams of sugar-free whipped cream on top and I actually put five grams of Lily salted caramel chips in it as well. Cause why not have a dessert for breakfast if you gotta eat it, gotta eat it. Speaking of dessert, I'm having more dessert. <laughs> These kind of things are the only things that I have that is high fat and I probably will eat up all my carbs in one meal, I don't know. I need to go to the grocery store and find some real food. And some cheese, cause I always have cheese on hand, two slices of this member's mark, Colby Monterey Jack. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's 4.30 and I'm about to have my second meal of the day. I am having my regular yogurt sludge. This is 0% Faye Greek yogurt, though I will probably be getting some 5% coming up here to try and get the fats up a little higher when I'm doing high fat keto. This is really hard with all my low fat stuff, but I also have 15 grams of Lily's chocolate chips and 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream on top and 25 grams of Quest vanilla milkshake powder in here and a squirt of orange vanilla Mio. I'm gonna have a Built Bar salted caramel and three pieces of Member Mark Kobe Bag Colby Jack cheese and that is going to be my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys it's 10 30 at night my daughter had point class her very first point shoe class tonight and it went pretty late and so I bought wings on my way home. So I am having a six piece wings with sauce on the side and I'm having a salad with ranch and that's going to be my last meal of the day. <laughs> guys, I just finished up with my pre-op appointment and I am getting ready to go through the car wash. As you can see, my car needs it. And I am gonna be having a gas station lunch because I don't really have time to deal with getting any, well, I don't wanna to go to fast food because I'm trying to stay keto so I know what I can have at the gas station. Um, I grabbed a Built Bar. I got some peanuts. I got some Quest peanut butter cups. And I got two pieces of cheese and some beef jerky. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Oh, and it's about 12.30. 
Alrighty guys, it's six o'clock. I'm about to have my second meal of the day. Yeah, I know my meals are all over the place today, but it is what it is. I'm having orange vanilla sludge today with whole milk um, Greek yogurt, so 5% Greek yogurt, mixed with 25 grams of Quest protein powder and orange vanilla Mio with 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream on top. Then I'm gonna be finishing off these peanuts that I tracked earlier in the day because I didn't eat them all. And that's gonna be my second meal of the day. All right, it's nine o'clock and I'm about to have my final meal of the day. I am having Quest chip nachos. This is gonna put me a little bit over on my carbs for the day, but it is what it is at this point. So I have one package of chili lime Quest chips, four ounces of 90-10 ground beef, 30 grams of cheddar cheese, 47 grams of lettuce, 60 grams of tomatoes, 30 grams of sour cream. And I think that is everything. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Morning guys, it is Wednesday morning. I am about to have my first meal of the day. I am having another one of these upside down bakery. This is the pancake version. I put eight grams of butter and 30 grams of sugar-free syrup on top. I am having another health, half of a health code shake. This is um, the, it, I basically mixed a half of a scoop of vanilla and half of the scoop of chocolate, 40 grams total of health code to make that shake. And I'm having Quest peanut butter cups and a built bar. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. You guys, I'm sitting in the car in the drive-thru pharmacy with my girls in our hot car that has no AC. And we're hoping that we can get up there and get my antibiotics for this stupid urinary tract infection I'm now facing leading up to my surgery. And the only thing I was able to grab on the way out the door because I was in a super big hurry was a Quest cookie and a protein bar. I have that and this aloe vera water. And that, I guess, is gonna be my second meal of the day. Depressing. Alrighty guys, it's nine o'clock and I took my first antibiotics when I was out in the car. Also had another built bar earlier because I was starving. <laughs> and now this is what I'm having for my final meal of the day. Good old eggs and sausage. I've got two eggs, um, four pieces of great value brand sausage, two pieces of Colby Monterey Jack cheese, and then for dessert, a whole crap ton of whipped cream. This is 60 grams of the sugar-free great value whipped cream with 80 grams of strawberries underneath. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's 11.30 on Thursday and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I was just in the mood for sweet protein. Well, I'm always in the mood for sweet protein. It's like my favorite thing. So I'm starting with Keto Wonderworks cereal. This is 60 grams of the, pito, pe of the peanut butter Keto Wonderworks with um, a half of a premier protein shake with a half of a Premier banana protein shake um, on top. And then I'm also having some Quest peanut butter cups, my last one, and a Built Bar. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's two o'clock and I'm having me some protein sludge. This is one cup of 5% Greek yogurt and 25 grams of Quest protein powder with, I think it's acai berry mio in here for flavoring. And then on top, I've got 30 grams of whipped cream and that's gonna be my second meal of the day <laughs> alrighty guys I am with Jasper he just went to his well child visit at the doctor and we he wanted to go to McDonald's so I am having a double quarter pounder with no bun I forgot to say no ketchup so I'll probably scrape that off the top but that is gonna be my third meal of the day Alrighty guys, it's nine o'clock and I'm about to have my last meal of the day. I'm having Quest Chip Nachos. This is one package of cheddar or chili lime, I can't remember which one. Quest Chips with 100 grams of cooked 90-10 ground beef, 60 grams of salsa, 30 grams of cheddar cheese, and 30 grams of sour cream. It's gonna be put me way over on everything for the day, but I'm super hungry. I probably shouldn't have ate that McDonald's earlier, is what it is, and that's gonna be my last meal of the day. guys I just got home from a very busy morning it is Friday and it's afternoon afternoon o'clock oh my gosh that's how I am right now sole I need some sole haven't had anything to eat here's my first meal of the day two eggs two pieces of Colby Jack cheese some quest peanut butter cups a built bar and I'm gonna eat some of these pork rinds that's gonna be my first meal of the day Tech 
Texas Roadhouse, having a salad. All right, and here is my sirloin steak, 16 ounce with smothered uh, onions and mushrooms and some broccoli. That's gonna be my last meal of the day. Morning guys, it's 11.30 on Saturday. I've almost successfully made it a whole week. Basically keto, I think one day I was over my carbs too much. I think I was like 40 carbs one day, but I've been doing pretty great actually, so I'm kinda glad. But anyway, it's 11.30, I'm about to have my first meal today. I am starting out with an upside down bakery blueberry muffin and a health code shake. This is a half of a health code shake, not a full. <laughs> and then I am having some berries today with swerve, two pieces of Swiss cheese and a built bar. And that's going to be my first meal of the day. All right, it's 4.30 on Saturday and I'm about to have my second meal of the day. I'm having my typical protein sludge, same as usual with Quest. This is Quest vanilla and... An orange vanilla mio with sugar-free whipped cream on top. I'm gonna have also some of the leftover pork rinds that I had the other day and a Quest peanut butter cup and that's gonna be my second meal of the day. So I think one of the straw that broke the camel's back moments happened when I got a new swimsuit. So I searched online for a swimsuit that I think might look good, you know, that my girls won't migrate out of, that my back skin, my side skin won't migrate out of. And so far, I really haven't come across anything. But when I saw this super cute swimsuit, I totally had to have it. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect because it has little flutter of sleeves, right? So it doesn't show off as much of this. I mean, it shows off some of that, but it feels like it's not showing as much. It's nice, The it's nice V-neck. Everything's kind of contained, right? Look at my back even. I don't know if you can see. My back looks awesome in it. Like, it doesn't show any of my back lines. It like pulls them over to the side. Makes my back look, makes my back look really good, right? Right, it looks good, yeah. But let me show you. This was one of the main reasons and probably the straw that broke the camel's back that made me decide I had to do the surgery. Let me set you down. Yeah. That's just not gonna work for me. I mean, what do you guys think? Can you picture me going, trying to go out in a swimsuit like this? What is that even? It's just... <laughs> It looks like a saggy bag of, I don't even know. It's gross. So, yeah, that ticked me off. And it inspired me to search all over the internet for any kind of skirt that I could find that I could wear with it so that it would even be reasonable for me to use this season. But as you can see, it's not gonna be without a skirt because and still, do you see this? Look at this. Oh, can't even make that look. Oh. You see what I'm saying? So I wear a size small. I should be able to look small. And I don't. I still have this weird bulge. And that's one of the reasons that I decided to do the surgery because I, I just can't, I just hate that. I just hate it. I don't want that anymore. So I'm off to swim. All right, guys, it is Saturday night. It's nine something and I was craving wings tonight. So I made Dave go get me some. So I'm having nine plain wings with sauce on the side and a salad with ranch. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's Sunday morning. I am four days out from my surgery. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm having for my first meal of the day. Microwave keto custard. This is a Karen Odekirk who gave me this idea. But basically you take one cold premier protein shake Mix it up with two eggs and maybe a little sweetener. Cook it in the microwave. Um, it depends on your microwave. Like my old microwave used to do this in four minutes. Now it takes me about seven or eight minutes. So I basically just try and watch it. Make sure it doesn't get too bubbly because otherwise it ends up like scrambled eggs. And I let it take a break and rest. And so it takes a little bit longer to make now for I have my different microwave. But 
yeah anyway it's still good you can see my my, my whipped cream is melting I made this one this was a banana premier protein shake with two eggs and on top I have 15 grams of Lily's chocolate chips 120 grams of raspberries 30 grams of, of sugar-free whipped cream 10 grams of slivered almonds then I'm going to be having also two pieces of Swiss cheese and a raspberry chocolate bill part and that's going to be my first meal of the day Alrighty guys, it's 3 o'clock. I'm about to have my second meal. This is my yogurt sludge. Today I made it with 5% um, Greek yogurt with one scoop or 25 grams of Quest milkshake protein powder mixed up with a little almond milk and two squirts of acai berry meal. I also have in here 15 grams of Lily chocolate chips and 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream. People keep asking me why do I eat so much processed foods and I get I guess I get kind of confused about like what's the difference between eating, between eating whey protein mixed with yogurt and a piece of chicken breast and I will tell you it's the taste. It, the nutritional value is absolutely the same. There's literally nothing wrong with getting your protein from protein things like this. That's what I like to eat, and I'm gonna eat what I like, because otherwise, what's the point of eating? Anyway, I'm also gonna be having some peanut butter cups. These may mainly for fat, but they also have some protein. Yep, they do. And of course, my very favorite protein in the whole world, Bill Bar. And that is gonna be my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's nine o'clock, and I'm about to have my last meal of the day. I am having Quest Chip Nachos or Taco Salad. Um, quite one package of chili line quest chips, 100 grams of cooked 90-10 ground beef, 47 grams of lettuce, 60 grams of tomato, um, 2 tablespoons of uh, green onion, 2 tablespoons of sour cream, and 60 grams of salsa. And that is going to, oh wait, and 30 grams of cheese. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. up the DEXA scan and now I can eat something. I'm starving. It's like 1.15 and I'm finally getting to eat. So I am having just the things I brought with me. Um, super easy protein things. I'm having pure protein puffs, a built bar, and a quest cookie. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's 4 o'clock. I am home and I'm going to have another meal. I ended up adding um, to the last one, I ended up adding another built bar and a package of, I think it was Jack Link's, um, jerky. And I was so mad when I put it in my chronometer, it like had eight carbs in it. <sighs> Utter fail. I was the original. It's the kind I always have gotten, but I've never gotten in the little baggie, little hundred calorie bag. Live and learn, people. Live and learn. So I basically have already chopped my car carbs out of the out of the roof for today, but I'm still going to have my regular food because I'm hungry, and that's how life is sometimes. So I guess no more ketosis today, but oh well. Such is life. Going to be having my yogurt sludge. This is 5% I'm because I'm trying to keep the calories a little higher. Yogurt mixed with Quest protein powder and orange vanilla mio with 24 grams of sugar-free whipped cream on top and some quest peanut butter cups and that is going to be my second meal of the day Alrighty, guys it is seven o'clock dave made dinner early because he's taking virginia to dance so that i can edit videos tonight and i am having this is hamburger salad so it's basically a cup of lettuce with two hamburger patties the 8515 um two pieces of great value cheddar cheese I've got six grams of mayo, six grams of mustard, um, 30 grams of tomato, 30 grams of pickles, 20 grams of onion. I think that's everything I had him put on here. And then of course, package of delicious West chips on the side. And that is gonna be my last meal of the day. <music> guys it is Tuesday two days before my surgery and I'm about to have my first meal of the day I'm at the dance studio for our competition clogging team tryouts it's about 9 30 in the morning and I'm gonna be eating now because I am starving so I'm starting out with a keto upside down bakery brownie with 12 grams of chocolate chips cooked into it I am also gonna be having two pieces of Swiss cheese a belt bar and a protein shake and that is going to be my first meal of the day 
Alrighty guys, it's been a crazy busy day. I can't even believe I haven't eaten anything until now. Um, but it is five o'clock and I'm having my second meal of the day. I am having my sludge like typical with 10 grams of Lily chocolates on top and the same whipped cream. Two pieces of Colby Monterey Jack, three sausages and a built bar. And that is gonna be my second meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's almost 10 o'clock. Yes, I know my eating is really weird today, but it is what it is. I am having another wings with hot sauce and ranch and a salad with ranch and that is gonna be my last meal of the day. Hey guys, here I am at the dance studio. It is 9 a.m. It is, oh there's my kids. Say hi kids. It is the day before my surgery. Is everyone excited? They're so excited. So today I've decided, I, I asked a whole bunch of people, I asked, I didn't ask my plastic surgeon, but he didn't say anything about it, whether or not I should have like, you know, a liquid diet or something weird before surgery. But I did talk to a lot of people who had a normal diet and they all suffered from really terrible constipation. So I decided I'm gonna do liquids, jello, and a chicken salad today. So I'm starting out with a health code shake. This is a full 400 calorie health code shake. I love it. And that's gonna be my first meal. Um, and I'm gonna be eating like a bunch of these today. So I will record them all and talk about calories and all that. But that is what I chose to do for my day before surgery meals. You guys can choose to do what you wanna do. But for me, I'm gonna hope that things are like cleanly in there, if you know what I mean. Alrighty guys, it's one o'clock and I my next meal is going to be keto chow. This is the root beer float keto chow made with 80 grams of whipping cream as the fat source. It's 400 calories that way, just like the other shake. So that's 400 plus 400 so far for the day. Yummy. It tastes a lot like a root beer float. I can drink that. All right, so yeah, second meal of the day. Day before surgery, down the hatch. Alrighty guys, it's four o'clock and meal number three is gonna be a great big bowl of protein sludge. The probi probiotics in this yogurt are gonna be good for me since I've been taking antibiotics for a week. So I got 350 grams of the Greek yogurt mixed with the same amount of Quest powder, the 25 grams that I usually have, and then 25 grams of sugar-free whipped cream on top. Then I'm also gonna have a health code shake and that is gonna be my third meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 9 p.m. and I'm about to have my final meal, my night before surgery. I have to stop eating by midnight, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and stop at least eating by 10. So I am having a le lemon kale salad from Chick-fil-A and an extra thing of grilled nuggets. That is gonna be my last meal of the day. All right, well there you have it. Everything I ate leading up to and the day before my surgery. It's exciting, right guys? I hope that this helped you guys to see what maybe you could do to prepare for if you decide to have loose skin surgery. I tried to keep it as high protein and low carb as I could leading up to surgery in order to be kind of anti-inflammatory and have lots of protein ready to help my body heal. Um, it's going really great so far, so so far so good. I think this diet worked out really great for me. Um, you will see in the coming days that the, the post-surgery diet kind of went out the window, but you know, best laid plans and all of that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll stick around. Don't forget to check out the about section for all the ways you can support the channel and um, the Facebook group where you can learn how to lose weight yourself. And of course, all of the other nitty gritty that I have available for you guys to check out in the about section below. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you all again soon.